So are you going to school right now, or? I am. Not here, not physical therapy. Oh, cool. That's a good field to go into. Because there will always, people will always need physical therapists. Yeah. Always. Yeah. My sister, she does um, in-home care. Mm -hmm. So it's like, she's going to school right now to become a nurse. Mm -hmm. But when she was doing in-home care, she took like a crash course in um, physical therapy because like she had to, like elderly people, you have to like get them up out of bed and get them moving around and yeah. Yeah, I get on. I was actually helping the navy too. Oh, I was in the army. Yeah. How long are you in for? Six years. Okay, I got early my second um, contract, right? They took, even though I completed my first contract and completed, I paid the $1,200 for my GI Bill, they took it away from me. I don't know, because they said that I I voided the contract, but the thing is, my GI Bill was with my first contract, not my second. But I think someone, I think someone at the off, at the, because it was GI, whoever handles the GI Bill stuff, is they're the ones who sent me a letter. So, because I think they're not... They're, I don't think they know what they're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I your first contract, which was how many years? Ago? Four, yeah. Did your whole four years? Yep. Unless somehow maybe there is something in the clause that says once you get a new contract, then. But I, don't, I, don't but I paid it off on my first contract, yeah. too. Yeah, you should, because you got like a good discharge. Oh, yeah. It yeah. was a good discharge. There's no reason why you shouldn't. Honestly, that's something that I would fight. I was really upset. I would fight it. I would like tooth and nail for that. Because I was like, well, that's not fair. No, like. Uh, and I did I did two tours while well, I went to Kuwait, but still I did two tours overseas. I'm like, yeah. and you're gonna take my GI bill from me? Right. No, that's not fair. I got out because I was actually too big. Really? And they they didn't take my away. So you know what? I was always like, you know how like if you're over, I was always one pound overweight. Mm -hmm. You know how they tape test you? I can never pass my tape test, and I was like smaller then. Mm -hmm. But it's like because of my butt, it would throw my tape off. I'm like, that's not fair. They need to, like, rethink about yeah, the way. It's, it's changed. And I don't know when you got out, but it's, it's changed a little bit. It's been about five years, six years. Okay. It's, yeah. it's changed a little It's not as bad as it used to be because they're more. Um, they always passed all my PT tests, right, everything. Right. It's like, it was always, like, so hard because when they would get to my hips, I'm like, that's not even fair. Yeah, it, because, like, my measurements were 32, 29, 45 at that time. Mm -hmm. And we had, like, a little itty bitty stomach. And it's like, really? And. It's, it's throwing up. Like for me, it's my all my weight's right here. Yeah. That's where they measure it. And, and it's because I'm short too. Yeah, you're short, so it's it like goes there. as well. With me, it was always my neck that always got. My neck was never big enough. Yeah. If you had a really thick neck, I'm like, what does that have to do with anything? There would, there would be guys who would. <laughs> and there's guys who are obviously overweight, and they would pass it. Three hundred pounds. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Because his neck is twenty inches, and mine's only eighteen. And I could run fast with them all. Yeah. And just was like, you know, sorry, it's the numbers. And it's like, really, I Yeah, like my two mile, I would always do like 16 something for my two mile. I'm like, that's not fair. And I could do 60 push ups, and I only had to do 18. Oh, wow. That's very <laughs> Like, I had to do 18 the max, and I could do 60 every single time, just to, like, prove that I could do more than the guys. <laughs> nope, it doesn't count at all. Yeah, I used my GI Bill, and I, I used some kind of this program in the state of California that probably people to uh, they pay them to go to school, so I'm using that right now. Yeah. Well, while I was in, though, my college was paid for while I was in, which that helped right. a lot. Because when I went to Kuwait, like, I did online classes when I went to Kuwait. Right. They actually, like... Actually, like, our first sergeant kind of, like, made everybody do a class while we were deployed. Because we had a lot of time. Yeah. Yeah. No, chemical cooperation. Okay. Yeah. Like, I went to Kuwait twice. The same darn place. 
15 months, months each time. It wasn't a violent area, but still it's like I'm wasting my life. You're away from your family. We were intense. I was in a post for 10 months. Oh, God. Yeah, well, we were, we were at the Kuwaiti Naval Base. Yep. Well, we would go in between the Kuwaiti Naval Base and Arafjan. Yeah. Yeah. The best defect was at Arafjan in the world. Seriously, yeah. It's above the naval base. No. No, 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 no. They raided it. They like did a whole ride up on it. On Fridays, is all you could eat: steak, shrimp, and lobster. Oh wow. It was good, like wow. really good. Like, and we were allowed to have midnight chow, mm -hmm. so it's like some of us, some of us, well, I didn't gain weight while I was there, but some of us, <laughs> like, gained weight while we were there, because, like, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and midnight chow. Yeah. Because, like... Yeah. We had it on the boat, too. Because it's, like... We had, like, weird schedules. Yeah, because, like, if you had tower guard or gate guard, it's like you might not be able to... And they don't want you eating MREs if you don't have to. Those things have, like, 2,000 calories each. And they're always supposed to be using the ice out. I know. I hate whenever they want to give them to you breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and you're like, that's 6,000 calories. What am I going to do with that? Yeah, I'm, I'm not scheduled. I'm on the boat. I only had to work like two hours after the entire day. Yeah? Yeah, we, we did a lot. Um, well, at first, we didn't have, like, any gym equipment. Actually, they weren't even prepared for, uh, for my unit when we got there because we got orders. And then they got retracted, but our first sergeant, she didn't she didn't have any war or any she didn't have badges or not badges. She wanted the um deployment ribbon or whatever. Okay. Which is stupid. That's a stupid reason to deploy because you want one. So like we went anyways. Yeah. So we went anyways. Mm -hmm. And then so we went and we slept in our tracks the first two weeks. Um, like, in the yeah, we slept in our vehicles. We had smoke tracks. Yeah, and you can't, like, we were, like, sardines stuffed in a little can, like, ten of us to a track, and there was, like, no room for anybody. So you didn't have a bed or nope, we were sleeping on top of them, underneath them, and we were also outside the gate, because they didn't have a motor pool ready for us. Mm -hmm. It was horrible. And they just weren't ready for us. Yeah. We didn't even have shower. We couldn't even shower. I know. Like here we are in the desert. We can't even shower. How nasty yeah. is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Uh. I was like threatening to like just shave my head. I was like, if I can, yeah, I can shave my head if I want to. It's like if I cannot wash my hair. It's being cut off. It's not good. <laughs> but I wear a hat anyway, though. I was, you know, I'd be wearing a hat anyway. Right, right. It wasn't fair because, like, our first sergeant, she was always on the, uh, she was always on the naval ship, always, always. I know what she was doing on the naval ship. Oh. There is no reason for anyone in the army to be on a naval ship. Because first off, they have liaison with the Marines. Why do you think she was on the army ship? Like, think about it. There's no reason for her and her and the commander, they both went. And then like somebody like caught her and the commander, <laughs> which is an, also another female, having sex in a tent. Yeah. yeah. It, it does. Very weird.